my great aunt Celestine Hester, my grandfather Jerome Wolfe's oldest sister. I've been writing to her for 30 years. And I finally got to, she's 103 now. I finally got to meet her for a, one of her niece's weddings. Uh, Grandpa Wolf flew me down from Haynes to uh, Longview, Texas where my father has a dozen cousins. Um, he wasn't on that uh, on that trip. Neither were my aunt and Uncle Murray. I got to meet his cousin Steve and um, Ed and Wayne and I didn't know which sister was getting married. Afterwards, I had to ask him who it was. She was in jeans. I need to point her out. Celestine and Bill didn't have any kids, although they had uh, 15 nephews, nieces. And Thomas, uh, Steve's father, my great uncle, was born when she was about 20. So she basically raised him. She now lives in assisted living, which is um, good. Her memory is, is challenged, which if I, if I live to be 103, I feel like I can have any memory at all. I sent her a letter of uh, some pictures of Hanford out of the um, Hanford's annual report for the public and some descriptions of her dear brother's house, my grandpa that um, she likely never saw, and I'm sure he, he wouldn't have taken any photos of it. <laughs> Cigar butts, and cow manure, candy wrappers, and coffee cans, spittoons on the floor, grease splatter on the wall in the kitchen. Hadn't fixed it up since the day he moved in. Tom and Steve came up to, uh, uh, Tom and Chris came over to uh, retire Grandpa when his hip was broken by a cow. He was 70 some years old out digging ditches in uh, 90 some odd degree heat. And um, Steve and Tom also came up for Grandma's funeral. And so um, we all went to Sherry's, and which is uh, really close to the funeral home. And uh, Steve and I, we kicked around Options Expensing and James Clavel books that we had both read. And uh, yeah, it was really good. To, to, I mean, <laughs> there's not many people I can kick around that kind of stuff with. <laughs> 